Okay, guys, so I'm back with another video. I know this is kind of quick since my last video, but I just had to make this video because recently this guy named Boomerang OS, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description, wrote me and he told me about this new Android 11 image for the Raspberry Pi 4. And it is made by Constakang, the guy who made Android 10, Android 9. And his images are usually really good and they just work really well and they look really professional and you can install Google Play on them, so I really love them. So I flashed it to an SD card, was able to install Google Play pretty easily, and yeah, so I've installed a few apps, and in this video, it's just, I'm just gonna be taking a look at these apps. But in, in my next video, which should be coming out tomorrow or the next day, I'll be showing you guys how you can install this with Google Play, because there is a few things that you're gonna need to know to do this. But overall, I've had a pretty great experience with this. It works pretty well. So first of all, if we just go over here to Constantine's website, you can see right here he, he has Android 11 and Lineage OS 18.1. And you see the date right here, it's January 4th. So it recently came out, just a few days ago, three days ago. So yeah, you just go here and you can download it from here. But Google, installing Google Play is a bit different from before. There are a few other steps you have to do. So. Thankfully, I was able to do it pretty easily. So now to go over to the software side. I mean, it looks the same as Android 9 and Android 10, but performs definitely like Android 10 or even better. I mean, I think the performance is probably pretty much the same as the Android 10 build. So I, as, you, as I said, I was able to sideload Play Store on here so I can get all my Google apps and it all works pretty well. So you can install anything from here. So the first app I wanted to show off was YouTube. So let's go over to YouTube and look at some YouTube performance. So of course I installed this through Google Play. You could also install other software apps like Aptoy and stuff if you did not want to install Google Play. But I would recommend doing it, it's not that hard. So if we wanted to play a video like this video, one of my videos, I could just click on it. And here's a little ad, we can just skip it. And we can make this thing full screen. And look at here. I mean, YouTube performance, in my opinion, looked really good. Like, everything performed well. Not much tearing. And, yeah. So, I am using this with a mouse and keyboard, as you see. Because I, I don't have um, a touchscreen for my Raspberry Pi 4 yet. But... If you do have a thing, touchscreen, I would recommend trying this out and seeing how it goes. Because Android is an operating system made for touch. So it probably all the gestures and stuff would work better on a touchscreen. Yeah, so, I mean, YouTube works well. You can definitely watch everything you want to watch. Scroll through here, look at your subscriptions, do everything that you wanted to do. You could really easily do that on this Android build. It is totally capable of that. And next thing, web browser. So, from all my testings and stuff, Firefox just seems to be the best for Android on the Raspberry Pi. It performs way better than Chrome. Chrome just gets laggy and stuff, and the default web browser, I just don't like. It's not very good. Firefox works very smooth, very enjoyable to use, and you can search anything. If I was to search Pi 4, it just comes right up. Super easy to scroll down. I could click on this link. And it should load up. And I am using Ethernet right now, but Wi-Fi is totally functional. And this build does work on a Pi 4, all version of Pi 4, Pi 400, and Compute Module. It's compatible with all of those models. So it has a lot of compatibility, actu actually. And if we wanted to go to Amazon.com, let's say. Let's go to Amazon. Click on Amazon. And yeah, I mean, it just loads straight up, and you have no problem web browsing on this thing either. So, so far, I mean, I'm just having an amazing experience with Android 11 on the Raspberry Pi 4. You know that there had been another Android 11 build. I tested it out, but I hadn't made a video about it. But this one, in my opinion, feels better, more smooth, and you can install Google Play so you can have all those apps. So that's one thing that I really enjoy about this. So next, let's go ahead and test test out some games like Asphalt 8, for example. So on the other Android 
10 build, the colors had kind of been off when you would want to play a game like Asphalt 8, Asphalt 9. And sadly, I have to say that it still is like that. I mean, it, it's it's still fine to play. It's not unplayable or anything like that. Just the colors look a bit odd on this. So it probably has something to do with the graphics drivers or something like that. But if you remember on the Android 9 build, none of these games were even playable because there was just no drivers at all. So it's better to have it and have these colors off than not have it at all. I mean, so you see, this game is, you're probably getting some frames drop, of course, but as you see, I mean, it's totally playable. You could totally have a good time just playing your Asphalt 9, Real Time Racing, Asphalt 8. All these games would work pretty well on this Android build on the Raspberry Pi 4. You see, I mean, I'm just playing, driving around, and it's so nice. Yeah, so I do think having a touchscreen for your Raspberry Pi 4 for Android would be kind of the, a really cool project to do. You can make like a little tablet, get um, a power s supply and stuff like that, and it would be really cool. So that could be something you guys could think about doing. Yeah, I mean, you see how Asphalt 9 is performing on here. It's really good, amazing. Oh, it just got smashed. This still is the mini game because I actually haven't downloaded the full game yet. I didn't have time for that yet. Because this video was made pretty quickly. Because I wanted to just to get the news out to you guys that it is available. I'll be making a more long video and installation video tomorrow or the next day, hopefully. Okay, so let's just go out of Asphalt 9 and let's test out another game. Such as, let's go for Brawl Stars. I know this really isn't a heavy game, and honestly, it's not meant to be played with a mouse and keyboard. But you can do it. I mean, it's not the best thing you're ever going to get, but performance or game See, you do kind of have to use your mouse like this and move around. It, that's kind of the biggest bummer. But overall, it's not a huge deal. Works really well. And yeah, I'm happy with it. I mean, this is mainly just to show you guys that games and YouTube and Firefox do work on here. That's the main reason of this video. And I w wanted just to get the news out to you guys that there is an Android 11 build by Constacane out for the Raspberry Pi 4. So here we are yeah i mean you see it works well actually let's just go out of brawl stars it's really not a heavy game and what else could we try we could try geometry dash i know that real what's it called real racing 3 i think is the name that game actually performs really well and it's a really fun game but i didn't download that one yet but I would definitely recommend trying that out on these Android builds. Other YouTubers such as ETA Prime, Lee PSB videos have made video about it. And it just works so well. Considering that this is a low, cheap ARM device running Android. It's just surprising how good it is. Oh my goodness, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> oh, where'd my mouse go? Ads. Oh man, didn't mean to do that. Well, let's restart one more time and then, yeah. I'm not good at this game with a mouse at all. I'm better with my fingers for sure. It's hard to do it with a mouse, honestly. Shoot. Okay, let's just be done with that. But yeah, so this video is just kind of a not that long of a video, but just announcing the new android 11 build by constant King to you guys and yeah it works really well animations are nice and smooth video playback is good you could watch your netflix amazon prime hulu disney plus all that stuff you can get a vpn on here 
so you can do most everything you can you can do on a real Android device so it's pretty useful so if this video was interesting to you guys please hit that like button any questions about this any worries just hit me down below in the comments and like always don't forget to subscribe